Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Safe to New Orleans. Hey, my family. This is Miss D again with another really good video. Um, today, I'm just going to be doing like an hors d'oeuvre tray. And I'm going to be doing drinks because that's something that I really, I really am starting to enjoy drinking now. Because um, a lot of people tell me about my drink recipes. So, I'm so this is something I'm proud of. You know, I have a lot of fun doing it, just as well as my cooking. But I'm so glad to be here. I miss you guys. You know, I've been kind of busy, but nonetheless, we're so thankful to be here for another day. So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be doing in terms of my, my, um, my little tr my little tray. Well, I should say uh, my little hors d'oeuvre situation going on. So check this out, y'all. If y'all got a if y'all got a date coming over and you're gonna have drinks, I think this is a really nice and efficient way to um, you know kind of impress your loved ones, whether it's a male, whether it's a girl, boy. Um, your wife, your husband, whatever, and, and you're trying to um, have a good time on the budget. Because that's that's what Ms. D is, is essentially about. Hence, essential New Orleans. <laughs> ah, before I be tripping sometime. But anyway, <clears throat> I have some, some celery sticks. And I'm just going to do it like so. I'm going to do it like this. I'm just going to put the celery sticks on a tray. Because you know, you fellas, you know, you be trying to impress females, and this is a good way to impress them. You know, take a little time to try to do things right, especially if you really like her or you like him, and you want the night to go smooth. Hence, <laughs> you, you hear what I'm saying? You feel, you feel me? But anyway, we got some broccoli in a bowl. We got uh, some celery, and now we about to put our cheese. So every, I try. To, I always like to prepare things ahead of time. Y'all know how Miss D is. So we got our little cheese tray. Because when you, when you're drinking alcohol, <clears throat> depending on how strong it is, you know it'll help to absorb um, the food that is. It'll help to absorb some of the alcohol. And then I have um, some sliced, some sliced apples. Some sliced apples. And I have one more thing. Let me get it for you guys. And I have <clears throat> some some little sausages. See? So this is a efficient and a really cool, you know, start on your date. You know, if you're, you're watching movies with your loved ones, with your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or whatever, and you're drinking, this is really a nice um, little thought to get things going. And it, it's, so, it's also impressive because they're gonna feel like, well, you know, you took, a, you took time out to do this for me. I feel so special. <laughs> and I have my ranch dressing. So that's, that's, that's how you get started. Oh, and you know what? I got some crackers. These are Monet crackers. They're really good. This is the original flavor. You know, they have um, a garden variety taste. Um, and, well, not these, but there's different types. So you're gonna go ahead and put your little crackers on a plate. Oh boy, y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be having a good time. But they gonna really think y'all, you, you splurged some money on them, boy. But that's how, that's how you, you know, that's how you do things. If you're going to do something, do it right. That's how I look at it. But anyway, that's our little hors d'oeuvre tray. It looks really pretty. You see how nice it looks? It looks really nice. You got, you got your crackers. You got your sliced apples. Um, you got your celery sticks. I love celery. And you got your cheese. And your little sausages. So you got your protein. 
you got your ranch dressing. So that's how you start it off. Now, here we go. I'm about to really get into it. The kidney caboodle. All right, so <clears throat> I have my I have my glass in front of me. So the first drink that we're gonna be make that I'm gonna be making it is made with Hartley apple um, liqueur. Liquor, it's not liqueur, but anyway, um, it's a whiskey. If I'm wrong, tell me, but I'm quite sure it's a whiskey. And I'm going to mix a quarter cup. That's why I got the measure because um, I just want to make sure that it's, the recipe is just right. Because you you don't want to you want to start the evening off you know full, or they say kind of high, you know you don't want to do that. You want the night you want the evening to go really nice. So I have a quarter cup of Harley apple, and if you want to say, hey, Miss D, why you got those small bottles? Because I don't drink, and this is, and I just want to show you, um, well I don't drink hard liquor. I'm a diabetic, but I do drink a little wine. With seltzer water, so I keep I'm keeping it real with you. But hard liquor like this, no, Miss D don't do. So it smells really good. Mmm, look at that. You smell it? Smell that. <laughs> so I got a quarter cup of my <clears throat> of my uh, Hartley apple liquor. Liquor? I don't know why I keep saying liquor. I, I mean liqueur. Like, what the hell is really going on? And then I have some, I have an, uh, like a fruit water. It's called uh, Fuji Apple. So steam, the theme is all about apple, but the, the flavors is gonna be so enhanced and so delicious. So I'm gonna pour a half a cup and I'm gonna put that in the glass. And I'm going to add to that a little lemon juice just a little bit now so I'm going to add my ice to that now if you want to you can put the glasses in a freezer if you, if you want to uh, but if you don't want, if you don't, a lot of people add ice, but a lot of people don't add ice. So I'm gonna get my spoon and I'm gonna stir this up. And I'm gonna taste that. And I want y'all to see. Mm, now, that's a good drink. That's a good drink, I'm telling y'all. You should try this recipe. Now, if you want to, you can add a little bit more alcohol, because we adults here, drink responsible, don't be a damn fool. You know, hold your liquor, don't act like you ain't got no sense. And then I'm going to garnish it with an apple, with a little slice of apple. So, that's my first drink. Mm. I'm gonna put the recipe in the in the bottom of my description, but I wanted you to see how and see how easy it was, and it, it tastes delicious. Let me let me get another sip. Hold on, I'm telling nobody. Mm. That's a good drink. Ooh, Ooh. like Martin used to do. <laughs> oh, and it's, and it's and it's very pretty at that too. All right. Now, my second drink is made. You could use either Jose Cuervo, the white tequila, or you can use the Jose Cuervo gold tequila. So I, and let me tell you, I brought these bottles from Walmart. That's right, Walmart got a whole display of different types of alcohol. They got Fireball, y'all, in a small bottle like so, like so. Like if it's just you and you want to make you a couple of cocktails, you ain't hurt nobody. 
get your drink on. Like I say, drink responsible. All right. Now, my second drink. Now, you know I got, I got names for these drinks. I just can't think of it right now. Oh, I got, I got it. I'm tripping. My first, this first drink here is called a Logan, Logan West. And um, she's subtle. She's a lady. She's very classy. Logan West, hence the name. That's a beautiful name, Logan West. And it's and it's delicious too. Now, my second um, name for this particular drink is I don't have one, but I'm going to call it Jack Rogers. The second one is Jack Rogers. It's very masculine. I mean. I think tequila is kind of masculine. Maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm not a drinker, but I just feel like it's just so bold in the taste, you know. So, so Jack Rogers, right here, is going to be my second drink. My first drink is Logan West. Isn't she beautiful? You know what? Ladies will really enjoy this drink. It's very complimentary. Um, the taste, it has um, very delicious. Um, how would you say this? Um, the taste is like when you first drink it, like it just makes your mouth really happy. It's a fun drink. This is a drink you can drink all night if you limit yourself to the amount of alcohol. But once you turn it up, hmm, child, you ain't gonna be nothing nice. Trust and believe that. All right, <clears throat> so here we go for my Jack Rogers. I got my, yep, I got my white tequila. Now, I know y'all like tequila out there. Now, you know tequila will make you act a fool. So, I'm just going to pour a little over a quarter of a cup, you know, past the line, just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour that in my glass. In my glass. And I'm going to be using the tangerine mango flavor water. And I'm going to use a little less than a, than a half a cup because people like, people like tequila. And ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm tripping. I'm putting the wrong top. So I'm just going to pour. I think I, let me see, did I pour a little less? Hell, well, I didn't. It's, it's, a, it's a half a cup. But te tequila is very potent, you know, it's, it's very strong. Like I say, you wanna, you wanna enjoy your drinks. You know, you wanna be able to drink it without it being too strong. You wanna be able to finish it and still be uh, functional in terms of speaking and walking. Never, never go out in public and get full. Cause you never know what happened. You have to be quick on your toes these days. Trust and believe that. All right, then I'm going to, instead of me using lemon juice, I'm going to use lime juice. And I'm just going to add just a couple of drops of my lime juice in here. And I'm going to stir that up. And then I'm going to add my ice to it. Oh, I really enjoyed making drinks. I really do have a good time. I was going to crush the ice, but it doesn't matter. You know, um, the drink is still going to be delicious, but you can use crushed ice in your drinks if you choose. That's up to you. So I'm about to taste this bad boy right here. So let me give it another stir. Mm. Let me tell you, like I told you, Quarter cup of tequila is still, it's still a, a very good amount. Don't try not to overdo it. You know, I want you to have a good time. But the drink is good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to, I'm going to garnish this with an orange, with an orange wedge, like so. So I got my Jack Rogers on the left, and I got my Logan West on the right. Two fabulous drinks. You know, you can serve it in any kind of glass that you want. Listen, ladies, when you entertain your guys, you want to do it right. You want to be a lady. And you want to make sure you keep it classy. So, 
you know, you get a, a like a high, I think, I do believe it's a highball glass, the shot glass, like so, if you want to, or ladies, if you want to entertain your lady friends or whatever, you can use any type of glass. You can use the champagne flute. Um, this is a, just another rendition of a, uh, this is nothing more than a wine glass here. And this is just a, um, I can't think, but well, you mostly use these for like margaritas and stuff like that. But nonetheless, you see my point. But I have my Jack Rogers, which is really masculine. This will make you slap somebody. But we don't want to do that. But if you add more liquor, you will slap somebody. And that's not what it is about. And then I have my Logan West. Let me give you let me let me give you a letter, another little taste. Let me get another little taste. If my doctor saw me drinking that shit, calling people for me. <laughs> she can call them what she wants. I mean enjoy my life, because it's all about having fun. You just have to know your limit. So this is a quick show on a Sunday. You know, I always have a good time um, making making drinks. I always have a good time cooking and entertaining y'all. I hope y'all be enjoying my shows. You know, Miss D is up to 1,291 uh, views, and she's she's doing it. it it's just it's just moving a little slow, but it'll get there. You know, I hope to get to 2,000, and then eventually three, four, and five. So. I'm asking you. I would like for you to, you know, support my channel. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fun person. I, I like to have fun. I like to entertain, but I like to teach too. It's not all about um, judging people. You know, I like to do things in a, in a way that people can appreciate and understand what I'm saying. So, to say all of that, we have a, we have our drinks. And then we have our our cheese tray or our hors d'oeuvre tray. Let me move my bottle so you can see. So we have. Let me turn my camera. Hold on, y'all. So I just want y'all to see. We have our hors d'oeuvre tray, and then we have our drinks. We don't forget, y'all. This is Jack Rogers. I'm gonna put the. Um, description in my in my bottom of my I'm going to put the recipe in the bottom of my description and um, this is my Logan West so I hope you enjoy I'm not going to keep you much longer and I just want you to continue to have a good Sunday and God bless until next time have a good day